Okay, so let me understand if what you are saying, let me say something and then tell me if that's correct. So what you're saying is, you do a simulation, you get a state estimate, which is not which is not consistent with your boundary conditions. Sorry? No, no. Background. Suppose uh, if we are having an assimilation, uh, we are uh, uh, making, uh, we are having a first guess and a boundary condition at the time same time, at time equal to 0. Now we are updating the uh, initial condition. Suppose first guess, after assimilating, we are creating an initial condition. So at that time, when we are update, uh, means creating a new initial condition, to uh, keep this variables in balance, suppose, for suppose an example, I am telling, in the first floor, we are having certain variables. No, no, uh, for... Uh, <laughs> no, no, I am not uh, questioning. Actually, I was... Uh, whatever... I was just trying to answer his question that we do it separately. Who? Oh, we, we who? We who? We model it is being done separately. Sorry. Okay. So, okay. If you, uh, are you saying that after updating, the assimilated state is not in balance? So, that's the statement. Assimilated state. Simulated state is in balance, but each the two separate set of input should be in balance. What are Initial mean? condition and boundary condition. Yeah, but then we are missing. We are uh, we are creating an initial condition, and we have to update the boundary condition. So you have X background, the state, and the pen is running out, and. Uh, the boundary conditions background. You have some boundary conditions and you have some state variable. These are background ones before assimilation. You do assimilation and you update this to x u or x a or whatever you want to call it, right? This is the minimum of the 3 bar, 4 bar, whatever it is. And we are saying that these two are not in balance with each other. Is that, that, is that what you are saying? X u is X u is the analysis. That is the minimum of the cost function. Yes. So it is the minimum of the cost function. So okay. So okay. It is the analysis. Forget. So let 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 me explain that it is actually the minimum of the cost function later. But this is the analysis. And what you're saying is the analysis is not in balance with the boundary condition with which you started. Is that right? Okay. So how do you convert this into, let's say, a x u tilde so that this is in balance with the boundary conditions is what you want, right? No. Actually, the guy who asked the question, he is in the background. He, he, he took over. Why? The problem has lost all its color, shape, and form. I'm sorry? See, the guy who started the question, he is in the background now. <laughs> we actually change the boundary conditions. <laughs> I mean, update, change, right? So you are given the ocean state. You are, ocean state is the boundary conditions for the atmosphere. You update your atmospheric state by doing assimilation. And then you change the ocean boundary conditions? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? We have Mesa screen modeling. That means we are taking only one region, not the full globe. So okay. we have to update the boundary. Yes, yes. Boundary. Because we fix the but where? Yes. where do you update it from? Means from global model output we are taking and we are updating the Mesa screen. Where do you update? So why don't you send this update? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, so there is an update in the sense of <laughs> Okay, not update in the sense of actually updating according to assimilation. It's just, so to say, and how do you update? How do you choose the updated boundary conditions? 
No, no, no. Practically, how what do you do? Where cold, cold, hot, and hot, and the initial guess was basically some smooth interpolation, and the state is simply the, the temperature in this area. You have some observations. You do update, and the update now happens to be the updated state at inside the boundary happens to be hot, hot, cold, cold. Right? And then this will basically have discontinuities across this interface, which is what you want to avoid. So, you, by some magic function, you choose boundary conditions so that this becomes cold, this becomes hot, this becomes cold, and this becomes hot. Is that right? And you don't know what the magic is. Okay. So, Okay, what are the in, at least what are the inputs to the magic? Uh, so, so, just one so the old, so the X background or the previous, the first, okay, so let me write in your language, the first guess, the boundary condition first guess, so let me just write it like that, the, just hold on, analysis, these three are clearly not sufficient to get the new boundary conditions, you need something else. Looks at something else that you are not telling us. <laughs> no, 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 there is because uh, if you are given just these three, there is absolutely no way. I mean, all, all you can do is you can simply smoothly continue this, smoothly continue an analysis across the boundary and use that as a boundary conditions. But I think that would be a very bad choice. But anyway, uh, you can have a thousand Depending on what, I mean, there has to be something else. That's what that. Yeah, exactly. So, you are not telling us something. That's what I mean, right? You are missing. You are missing a piece. There are these three. I understand these three. What's the fourth piece that's missing? What else goes into the procedure? There must be something else that goes into the procedure, 
So you don't know what it is. Okay, so then, uh, then it's in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yes, I think. <laughs> for this magic to happen, otherwise, the magic cannot happen. So, so this balance, getting balanced analysis, even for a global model, is not an easy problem. Right? Uh, you can get analysis which is out of balance, and how do you put it back in balance is something I haven't understood how to even formulate the problem. I don't know if you know what the right. I mean, for example, you can, if you can have analysis where uh, the heavy air sits on top of the light air, and they want to change it to make it upside down. And uh, yeah, but how, how do they actually put in the simulation system is a problem that's pretty much uh, mathematically not well posed yet. And uh, yeah, so. How do you post the problem? How do you solve the problem now? Actually, say that time has a very different distribution in the bond because we are choosing But what is the process? How do you say well, there is some acoustic waves or some waves it is generating and it is communicating with the okay. outer is, is, is the whole process within the boundary or there are things, trucks so going in and out? From the outer boundary. What? Care of that. Uh, so we have to update the boundary conditions. But absolutely, I'm not saying your boundary conditions is not a problem. Sure, mm -hmm. but how does the mark describe that? How do you state that? Actually, what we are doing is every six hours we are updating the boundary conditions. We are updating the boundary conditions. So boundary conditions are controlled very low. If, if you are updating boundary conditions, I'm assuming you are using a very intelligent technique to be able to update boundary conditions. So boundary conditions are controlled. Now she's saying this. <laughs> yes. That, which, which to me is a yes answer, right? That's right. That's what you need to look at. And there's nothing wrong in what you are telling, but then you need to be able to, to bring a little bit more precision into what you're talking So if you think your program finds boundary condition or computes boundary condition, does it, comp does it compute optimally? Is that a boundary, a boundary is a control? That's what the detail. I am missing from you. With me? Yes. Hey, you don't want to agree with me. But, but that. So, guys, I have your email. I may bug you. Yes, yes. Magnifies. Yes. Young is So that's okay. And this update has to be done every time. So in carbon filtering, when we will talk about that, we have to not only forecast the mean, we also forecast the covariance. And this formula will be the one. So what is this? The X forecast, the covariance of the one step forecast is equal to Yam sigma Yam transpose. So you call this to be the conclusion. Uh, this transformation is critical. And this transformation is expensive. What is that? This is the n by n. This is the n by n. So this is y and q. This is y and q. So two times y and q is y and q. That's why in carbon filtering, while we know the formulas, actually implementing this for large n would be too long. Questions while while you guys are thinking about questions, let me think about questions as well, and uh, I will just think aloud on the blackboard. Right? So, in the sense, for the, for example, for the projects, uh, there are several options. Right? So, uh, we are using many different things. Uh, the ensemble carbon filter. We haven't really seen the theory in any great detail. But uh, if somebody, so, so I am basically kind of starting to base topics for projects uh, on a small model, on a large model may be difficult, but uh, you know, small could be something like Lorentz 96, which is a typically photo dimensional model. In fact, this could be a good one for 
many of the different things. You could do nudging, you could do ensemble Kanban filter. Well, maybe you could have a combination that you know, I, could, uh, I could generate a data set from Live 96, and we have six different groups. We do six different data simulation techniques using the same data set and produce the best possible forecast for Live 96. How about that? Right, that, that's a that's a real thing. So okay, let me just list out various techniques, right? So one is uh, I won't tell you the initial. I will just give the data and the model. What's the price? Oh, so if you have to think of a price, okay. So okay, I I, I don't want to commit to any price right now on the fly. <laughs> yeah, I know. So if I'm too cheap, nobody will accept the challenge. Uh, and if I'm not too cheap, maybe I can't satisfy, I can't fulfill. So, okay, so nudging is nudging like techniques. So this could include all the adjectives added to it, back and forth nudging, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's one possibility. The other could be actually just Kalman filter. Uh, the extended, so to say. This is a nonlinear model, so the extended common filter. Uh, we could have something like particle filtering, uh, sampling, uh, forward sensitive, forward, uh, sorry, what? We have not covered that, but I guess if they want to think about it, they could talk to you separately and understand the technique and Im try to implement it on a, on a Lawrence 96 or something. Uh -huh. Oh, you could implement it and you could be a computer, you're saying? <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that would be, yeah, okay, fine. So that could be to the whole group or it could be to the people who want to do the project. It could be, yeah. Uh, so what should I put? So the, uh, I guess, what do you call it? Forward uh, sensitivity approach? Okay. So forward sensitivity, right? Yeah, okay, that, that's all right. Yeah. I forgot 40 bar. I forgot 40 bar, of course. Oh, well, 3D bar, I don't know. Uh, you can do it. They do it all the time. <laughs> they do it all the time in metrology, but <laughs> OK. It's a dynamic model. Anyway, uh, so I don't know. Do you, anybody else has any more ideas? What else to put into this list? I try uh, are different. Yep, they are. This is the, this is the 40 bar version of, uh, I mean, if, if everything is linear, this would be the sequential version of 40 bar, and then this would be the sequential version of that, if things were linear, but they're not, so anyway. So, okay, Any, anything else? So, okay, uh, the, the other option could be uh, to discuss some of the specific problems that you have in mind and understand one specific aspect, for example, a boundary condition issue, right? Not, not for a atmospheric, more, I mean, not, not for your, uh, but you could do it, for example, in WRF or something. For a smaller domain, not a large domain, not the whole India or something, but for a small domain. That's possible, maybe. Uh, the computational power here is not trivial, but not very large, so. Uh, sorry? What do you mean hybrid data simulation? I have no idea how that works. So, so <laughs> I, I, could, I could put it there, but I... Uh, no, 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 not at all. No, absolutely not. Far from it, I think. <laughs> okay, so something in that direction, but... Uh, so, okay, can you explain what you mean by hy hybrid? Oh, just hold on. Is you select the combination of two data uh, different data simulation scheme like 3D bar plus some ensemble uh, ensemble uh, as, uh, initial condition mean, means you find the initial condition with the ensemble one filter and then use some uh, one more data simulation scheme like 3D bar or 4D bar so it's a combination of two different schemes. Uh, 
the initial condition, and then we have a 3D bar for for what? For boundary conditions? For initial condition, we uh, yes, one once more. Right now, people are doing this. <laughs> no, but right now, people are doing this <laughs> also. Simply as a thing, or is it is it used uh, on a so a regular basis? Uh, right now, some uh, persons are using this. Some people are on that. He have a data simulation, have a more, uh, better performance in comparison to the simple four D one. Yes, yes. Somebody should write this down, please. One of you, or maybe multiple of you, right? So, okay, good. Thank you. It's a very old technique. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Optimal interpolation. I have no idea how. So, I no. To be more serious, how is optimal interpolation different from 3D bar, which I didn't put? Is it? Okay, so then I could put, I don't know, I, I would not try to do it, but uh, I mean, the, the whole point of the workshop would be to try something new, right? So uh, rather, uh, if, if you're if you're an expert in 4D, maybe you should try something else, not do a project on 4D, because you know it well, uh, because then it doesn't help. Uh, and I think it will be good to have people from different places be in one project rather than, you know, uh, so yeah, that, that you should stick to. So at least a beginning, you can think of what else you want to use. This was just an example. You could use whatever else you want. You can use a PD model, that's okay. More realistic. Uh, so yeah, okay.